Hello everybody, Preacher Lady on Wheels tuning in for a very short moment. I hope everyone is having a blessed day in Jesus' name. I just want to say, you know, um, I don't do this for fortune. I don't do this for fame. I don't do this for money. You know, I love to share the Word of God and the love of God in my life into your life because, you know, we are placed on this earth for a purpose and each person has a purpose in your life whether people want to you know uh step into the shoes that god has placed them before them and say yes god here i am i am going to obey the gifts and the callings in my life that you have prepared for me that's the way i want to be i want to make sure that god is pleased with me i want to make sure that i am doing everything that my heavenly father wants me to do hallelujah i love jesus and i thank for everything Everything he's done everything he's going to do and um, I wanted to read a couple verses out of the Bible real quick it was Matthew chapter 14 verse 22 if you ever need to look it up yourself it's Matthew chapter 14 verse 22 it says in straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away and when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. Hallelujah. Let me know we got a Jesus that is a water walker. Hallelujah. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, Is it a spirit? And they cried out for fear. Hallelujah. How many knows? You know, if that would have been us, we would have been like, Oh, what is that? Well, something walking on the water. We want to know what it is. Hallelujah. But straightway, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Hallelujah. Did y'all hear that? Peter walked on the water to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus scratched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship and the, the wind ceased, then they that were in the ship came and worshiped him, saying of a truth, though thou art the Son of God. Hallelujah. That was my Jesus that we're talking about. Hallelujah. He is our water walker. He is our everything to us today. Hallelujah. I want to say something today. You know, uh, we can be a Peter today. We can just say, oh, we're going to do everything that we can to praise the God and worship God and live for God and say, God, I want a closer walk to you, Lord. Lord, bid me to come on out to the water with you, God. I want a closer walk with you. But then you can say, God can say, come on, my child. Come on and uh, get you a taste of this walk that I have, this Holy Ghost that I have for you, Lord, the spiritual gifts that I have for you. But then you'll get to waver. You'll start looking at the wind that's going everywhere. You'll start looking at the world, and it'll be the distractions that's in front of you that's going to keep you from walking on the water, and you will begin to sink and you will begin to drown and you will be start to say Jesus help me you'll be reaching up hollering Lord save me Lord save me I don't want to drown Lord oh help me God hallelujah we've got to be focused fully on God we got to have our heart our mind and our souls upon God each and every day if we don't then you will end up in a bad situation you don't want to be like Peter in this situation where he was like yes God I'm coming to you let me come on out there with you if that's really you God and then he goes and he starts walking out there and then he gets distracted and then it's like he starts to sink and then he's having to holler Lord save me and then God said, 
all oh, thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? We cannot have no doubt in her life, but we got to be full of faith, full of trust, and full of Jesus all day long. Hallelujah. Well, I just felt like I needed to come on here and share this with y'all. I just want to say, don't let the distractions of the world get in between you and God. Don't let a stumbling block come between you and God. Do not let a person come between you and God. You've got to work out your own salvation. You've got to take this Bible and you've got to apply it to your life through thick and thin, no matter what comes or where it goes. But you're the one that's going to stand before God on judgment day. And are you going to hear, and are in my good? and faithful servant well done enter on into the kingdom of heaven or will you hear depart from me you workers of iniquity i never knew you hallelujah i don't want to hear those words depart from me but i want to hear well done my good and faithful servant enter on into the kingdom of god Hallelujah, it's going to take pressing, and it's going to take work, and it's going to take living and breathing Jesus each and every day to make it to heaven. Hallelujah. I hope that I have said one thing, at least one thing to help one person out there today. I love you, and I love your soul, and I want you to make it to heaven some wonderful, glorious day. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Remember. God loves you. I love you. Keep God number one in your life and you're going to be all right. God bless you all. Until next time, I can barely wait. Bye-bye for now. Bye.